Hi, this is Brad with InMotion Hosting, and in this K2 tutorial, I'm going to show you how the K2 default CSS setting works. So the first thing we're going to do is to get to this setting. So you'll need to log into your Joomla admin, and in the top menu, click Components, and then click K2. In the top right of the page, you'll see a Parameters button. Go ahead and click that. And there's a few tabs at the top. Make sure you're on the Layout and Views tab. Under the CSS and JavaScript settings, the first uh, setting or parameter is K2 default CSS. And when you hover over that, um, the following description shows up. It says, option will load the built-in CSS styling that comes with K2 by default. If you're using a Joomla template which supports K2 styles, you may have to disable this option to apply your Joomla template CSS styling to the K2 component and modules. And this setting is enabled. So what does this mean? Basically it means that um, this setting enabled, it's going to load a CSS file from K2 that's going to make uh, your K2 elements look like they should. But if your Joomla template already has those CSS styles built in for K2, then you'll want to disable this feature so your template's uh, CSS will, will uh, take precedence. So this setting is enabled by default, like I said. And in our last uh, tutorial for K2, I showed you how to create a, an item and a menu item for it. And this is the item that we created, item 1. And if you view the source code for this uh, page, and you search for K2. All right, towards the top, you'll see that there's two references to K2, K2.css and K2.js. So we've got a CSS file for K2 and a JavaScript file. So if we toggle the setting and set it to disabled and click Save, Okay, we're going to go back to our first item, and uh, we're going to view the source, and again, search for K2, and now reference, this is for K2.js. We're missing the uh, K2.css file. So that's what this setting does. It toggles that CSS file. Now, if we compare the pages um, with, and with, the, with and without the CSS, Let me enable that so we can see the original version. Okay, so what you're looking at now is with this setting enabled, it is including the K2 CSS file. And it's normal. This is what it's supposed to look like. Now, this is what it looks like when we remove the CSS file or disable it. Um, for example, you see rate this item. It has one through five um, in a vertical row, but the, de the default CSS for K2 makes it look much better. Um, it's got it going across, and it's got it with stars that you can click on. Also look at the uh, social features. For example, the, the Tweet and Facebook and Google+, Plus. Um, they look nice in a row as well, where remove the CSS, um, they're just going to be listed vertical, vertically. So that's it. Um, again, the K2 default CSS, it's a uh, K2 parameter, and it allows you to toggle whether or not to include the default K2 CSS file. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope uh, you learned something new about K2 today.